Welcome to round three. Apple Chips versus Canada. Menace Moon versus Stone Scar Moon. Apple Chips going to start things off with a Stone Scar power into a Seek power to really just help their get their fixing on. Looks like we do have a display bug at the top of the screen. Don't worry about the number of cards in Canada's hand. You can see them right there in the hand cam. Looks like we've got an Auto Tread, a League Explorer, Moon, Stone Hand. Yeah, I mean, I think. Uh... Canada does and looks pretty sweet. I mean, it's just play dude, play power, move on to the next card. You know, uh, I think it... Apple Chips, on the other hand, needs to draw some support. Now, they will have the moon, but look at that hand. Three power already played, five more power in hand, and a moon. Oof. Yeah, not, not looking great, but, you know, maybe if not this turn, and I mean, maybe if the, if, uh, Canada gets a gets a Reaper going that would maybe fuel Apple Chips as, as well because at least <laughs> they could draw card. I mean, <laughs> it's like you, yeah, that's that's one yeah. way to draw cards. Hope your opponent plays the Reaper on you. <laughs> yeah. So it does have Waning Moon. So Waxing Moon's going to change into Waning Moon at the start of your turn. Draw a card and take a damage. But that's a that's a nice thing to have for value. It's not a nice thing to have when you're desperately looking for cards. <laughs> All right, we're going to see two units out here. That's a good way to spend your turn four when you're an aggro deck is play two good two, good two drops. Two good oh. two drops, and oh my god. Oh, there's a Vine Grafter. All right. Apple Chips needed that. Going to go to the market. Combust, Sinister Rumors, a Rock Razor Shaper, and Crawl. Going to get the Razor Shaper. Seems like an easy choice. Yeah. Nothing else really does much other than that Combust. And Yeah. Yeah, I think... You know, a rock is really the your only option here, but right, unfortunately, hit that it's auto trend and fire off two hand two cards, get rid of that one blocker, another depth charge coming down, and then the only thing in Canada's hand is another copy of the the moon there, a copy of waxing moon. Apple Chip's already down to eight. Does have the Iraq and then has a Gleaming Granite in. So at least it's going to be able to put some blockers down on the board. I mean, four units on board in a turn's not bad. <laughs> so they have three depth charges. Yeah, get three a depth charges. Right? So that's so... six damage, seven or eight damage. But then Actually, you also this is just have game, right? The... Because they can just... Canada can ping away with Auto Tread, empty their hand, attack with League Explorer and deal eight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty good. League Explorer is pretty good. I don't know exactly how much damage dealt this game, but your two drop there dealt. I guess there were two League Explorers, so that's not necessarily fair, but still, <laughs> a lot of the damage to Apple Chips was done from their two drop. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I have thought, like I said, you know, that. Two two damage for each depth charge is, is a lot of damage. I mean, it's it's cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's cool to see that go off. But you know, on the receiving end, that it is hard to deal with. Yeah. Good stuff. So Canada gonna take that one in pretty quick action too. That was not very long. Our that viewers five fast. minute delay are probably still on break and <laughs> <laughs> game one's over. So I mean, I guess Waxing Moon is is good in this deck. I I don't even know if it's it, it seems like it's almost not even needed. I, I mean, I guess when you do have an auto tread and it's, it's down, it helps. But it's like you could have won without it, right? Actually, they did win without it because they <laughs> they just pitched it. <laughs> there was no need for it. So it looks like they are back in game. All right. Get them back in there. And let's head to game two. All right. Looks like Apple Chips is on the play here. Let them know that they are good to go. Starting things off with a painting. 
I mean, Apple Chips, I don't know. That that was an interesting match, thinking about that first one, because Canada had a very good hand, and I think played it very well. Apple Chips also was, like, really flooded, so yeah. <laughs> who knows how exactly it would have played out, but sometimes that happens, of course. Stone Hammer going to hit the board first here. Apple Chips does have a Vine Grafter, now has two copies of Elixir and of Elise, so pretty strong four drops in hand. Yeah, I mean, you've definitely got the board gummed up as far as, you know, having blockers. It's now you just have to deal with the flyers that, you know, black out the sky, I guess, is was would be an option if they had it. So they have they have uh, razor shapers, a rock as as their as their yeah kind of anti flyer tech. Also combust if if needed to pick off a specific flyer. So can I end up thinking about this one? Does have awakened arsonist too? I haven't seen this one too much. A two one stealth. When it hits the enemy player, draw a card, then discard a card at the end of your turn. Entomb, deal one damage. That's also a way, well, way to deal one damage to something. But I don't know if it really matters as much against Apple Chips' deck. You can pick off one of these deadly branded in, I guess. Well, if you have Moon, I guess that's really what Oh, it's good for. point. Good point. With Moon, that, yeah, there you go. Look at you finding the little synergies here. Maybe that's why it's in the deck. <laughs> Might be, but... You know, it's definitely not a it's definitely not a card that I've seen in a you know in a tournament before. Yeah. True. All right, well there's the Reaper, but Apple Chips in a little bit better position this time, has plenty of units now, gets a Valise down, that allows Apple Chips to get a loot going, and that's a bunch of damage getting Canada down to fourteen already. Yeah, I mean Apple Chips has a board now. And, you know, Canada can put units down, but those units aren't really going to do a whole lot against against overwhelming units. All right, following up with an auto tread. Ooh, auto tread with four power, though. This can pick off... Are you going to pick off all three units? Pick off the two Grenadine and the Iraq? You know, definitely take care of the Iraq. It'll be interesting to see if Canada wants to pick off the two Deadlies as well. Unfortunately, Canada can't stop Apple Chips from triggering Tandem if he wants. Okay, going to play out a unit instead. Oh, and then, you know... Next turn, they can at least kill something. All right, Permafrost the Arsonist. There's that tandem attack. That's going to get in eight damage this turn with Overwhelm. And I don't think you can block if you're Kananada. Doesn't do anything. Got to take eight. Oh, yeah, and this is pretty much... Yeah. Pretty much uh, game. Is probably going to put it out of... You can Waxing Moon, but that only leaves one ping. You can kill the Valise, but... I don't think that's going to be enough, though. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't think he, it is. You have to take the Overwhelm, right? You have to take Valise away. Oh, okay. The, okay. Okay. There you go. We got the moon. We got the moon. Uh, we got the moon stealth trigger action. The combo. Like it the moon combo. Ago. You got it. We saw it happen. I could. We can end the stream right now. and call it a successful, successful <laughs> tournament that we got to see that. Marvin the Seer. You have to change your name. Okay, so yeah, you have to block at least one, right? Kind of surprised you just didn't attack with the grafter too, right? Yeah, 
I mean, I feel like Canada does in a is still in a tough spot, right? I mean, you basically have to kill Elixir and you can't. So Apple Chips pretty much has this just based on Elixir, Elixir triggers. Ping face. Yeah, that's right. Ping face and that's, that is enough to do it. All right, Apple Chip's going to tie it up. So that's one game apiece. They're going to go to their game three. Apple Chip's deck looked... That draw was a lot better than the first game that we saw. <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess the difference between these two decks from what we've seen now going head-to-head -head for two games is that Canada's version looks like maybe it puts a little bit of a stronger punch off the draw, like right off the bat, right off the start. But Apple Chip's with... The Valise and the Elixir looks like it has a little bit of a stronger top end. Um, yeah. Oh, also the Grenahan. I didn't see the Grenahan there on the first try. Um, but it does look like once the game gets past the early stages, Apple Chips does have the tools to go a little over the top. Not to be results-oriented yeah. after two games, one of which was half a game. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think, you know, I agree with you. I, I feel like it does have a later game with Valise. You know, the overwhelm is really an important aspect going to get damaging all right so opening hand for apple chips i mean maybe that's okay definitely needs your there we go there's our third power and i think looks like we're pretty good what would they get out of the market? Oh, okay, Iraq. Yeah, yeah. Canada maybe could use a definitely could use a fourth power. All right. Okay, so yeah, Canada could use another power here. They're stuck at three there. They do have the Reaper, the two copies of Moon. They do have Combust and Pyrotech Explosion. So. They've got some options here. are going to discard one of the copies of Moon. They're actually going to discard two cards here. are going to go down to just three cards in hand to take care of this Vine Grafter. Interestingly, also, I mean, yeah, that's aggressive because the Vine Grafter did already go to the market, kind of already did its job. It's really just a 2-2 two -two blocker at this point, but Kananita really wants it out of the way. And that's tough because you know they went and got a rock. <laughs> right. You might need to do the same thing again. Do you ping two cards to ping away the two deadlies and make your auto tread a 5-5? Five -five? That's got to be the way to do it, I guess. But I don't know. This is like... and may, I mean, you're stuck at three power anyway, so it's not like you have a lot of other options, but it does feel like, well, you got one plan and <laughs> going all in on it. <laughs> well, but then it's, you know, you, you're going to attack for five, so... Yeah. Back for five, but Apple Chips, you see, does have that permafrost, so. Exploit. Let's start off with that. Take the moon. And I think this one, I don't want to call it too early, but similar to the last match we saw at the end of round two, I, I feel like this one is over, and now it's just going to be <laughs> what happens in the next five minutes until the game actually ends. Yeah. I guess Permafrost doesn't completely stop auto tread, but takes the unit out of the way at least. Right. I guess, you know, losing the two moons, that's really, I think, the a bummer for Canada. Cause you know, there's card draw in there, there's the ability to just ping stuff. Yeah. I mean and having, the having the D'Angelo Houndmaster for both players. <laughs> And Houndmaster is good, but it's it's not going to... I don't think it's really going to change the writing on the wall here for Canada. I guess you could play it and attack with both units. Yeah, I mean, you get it. Yeah. Can you do that? Can you afford it? I think so, right? It's just... I mean, I think so. It costs one. Yeah. You're going to you sacrifice something. Instead, get a... Oh, I guess that works yeah. too. 
Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. This gets this is better because it gets one more damage, but same idea. Yeah, I mm-hmm. mean, that's a good play. That's a good turn for Kananada. Applechip's lining up a double block on the Hound. A good trade because it's a 2-4 and a 3-3, so you're basically trading one of these units for the Hound. Take an 8 down to 13, but Kananada's now empty hand in. Let's see what Apple Chips can do. Permafrost plus a 4 drop is a good start. Okay. Yeah, Gleaming Granite in. <laughs> this, that's actually pretty funny. So that was a really good draw for Kananada. That means that Kananada could attack with two units, get the tandem attack on, without having to put the Houndmaster in combat. Yeah. And, I mean, it leaves it... So they'll be attacking with two four fours next time. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. All right. Well, we were thinking, you know, things weren't in a great spot, but for Canada. So if they play the League Explorer, that would be another two damage empty handed. <laughs> It's, it's kind of amazing that Canada's making this a game, but look at this. The League Explorer's attack, that's going to get a death charge, and this is going to get another trigger for the Houndmaster, so here comes another Hound. So you have to block the two four fours, right? I mean... Okay, so this these top decks have just been amazing. <laughs> amazing, for... yeah. All this while, Canada stuck at three. Gonna trade with one of the four fours and then it's gonna eat. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, you gotta get rid of the league explorer so that the death charges don't keep going. But now down to two. <laughs> wow, this is this is something. All right, well, Grenahen can block and give you one, but I mean, Apple Chips is Ooh. a league explorer is lethal. Auto Tread's a good draw, too. That can pick off the Houndmaster, maybe, so no more Hounds come. I feel like you might have to do that. Yeah, I mean, you you, you do, and then I guess maybe do you take Ping the Ping the Grenadine as well? Maybe, or you just play out your Houndmaster. Or play out your... Yeah, I guess you just play ping out the that, Ping their Houndmaster, play your Houndmaster pass. Yeah, yeah. What other direct damage does Canada to have? I guess Lee Explorer isn't technically lethal because you have to attack with it and then Apple Chips can block with a Grenadine. <laughs> well, they need Pyrotech Explosion or uh, Sky, Sky Slash. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that, pronoun- doesn't, pronouncing um, that correctly. What about uh, Reaper? Does Reaper... Reaper would do... Where's Reaper? Oh, yeah, Reaper. I mean, that would also work too on an attack. So they do... They do have options. It's just how many how many awesome top decks can they ha- get in a row? I guess that's the question. Oh, well, they can't play <laughs> the, awesome in a row. They can't play true. something. How about okay, awakened arsonist? <laughs> that has the entombed deal one. That's not that doesn't do it this turn. I mean, they definitely need pyrotech explosion because a power you know that would it would be two more turns before Reaper would come out. So right. Oh, Pyrotech yeah, I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot about the three power. You're right. There's also the Vine Grafter still live. So that's Blackout the Sky, Secret Passage, Defile, Devour. Secret Passage makes something unblockable. Oh, that's true. So you just pay three, switch this for a Secret Passage, and then you have Lethal next turn. Yep. See, I have not seen Secret Passage wow. in a constructed... <laughs> A <laughs> constructed market, and here you go. Secret passage might come for the win here. Wow, this would be awesome. Let's see what happens next turn. Okay, so auto tread can wow. kill one thing with a ping. Grenahan, you have to kill. I don't think it matters. Is it doesn't matter. I wonder, if, I wonder if Apple Chips takes the risk of go Grenahan before doing a ping. I, I don't even know if you ping at all. There's none of these units. Like it's not like one unit kills you, but the others don't. So 
The Granahan huh. itself is probably a better unit. Now, Apple Chips, a tandem attack isn't bad either, though, because a tandem attack gives you deadly, overwhelm, and a 4 4 and a loot. The. Okay, so you would gain two, you'd be at four if you attack with the Grenahan, right? So Apple Chips has open deck list. So if Apple Chips thinks, okay, Canada went and got secret passage. That means, well, I can make two things unblockable, though, right? No, just yeah, one. Secret passage. Okay. Once per turn. Well, no, but you get on summon. So I think you get the summon unblockable and you can pay to make something unblockable. Oh, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> you're I right. I think Canada can make two things unblockable. That's how often we've, we've played that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I don't think you block. I think you just take it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't there's no reason to block this. I can end it still at 26. I mean you can take even with the hound, you can still take the damage. I mean I guess theoretically you could throw away the gleaming grenade in because it doesn't really do anything, but All right, gonna kill the four four. Oh, this is interesting. Apple chips may have found the line. Look at this. So now, thanks to the valise, the Grenahen gets two life steal attack, which is gonna put Apple chips to four. And then by pinging away the four four, it means the secret passage is not lethal. Yeah. Now it's only three. What that? And I know, I guarantee you, Apple chips did that on purpose. Took a while, did the math, figured it out. That is unreal. I thought this was game over. But that's not enough. That's only three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yep. my goodness. Apple chips. Oh no, wait. Oh, the wax in the waning moon. <laughs> oh, no. oh my goodness. Yes. The waning moon deals one. 